Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I know uh, it's an early morning, and thank you those who woke up and came here on time. Um, I'm really happy to greet you all here on behalf of all the Krypton events um, team. This is our second event in Sofia, Bulgaria, uh, Next Block Sofia 2.0. Today we are going to concentrate on the topic, the future of securities and blockchain technology. And we are going to talk on not only about the blockchain and securities, we will also cover the topic of utility tokens, the digitization. We will talk about stable points and of course the growth hacking, uh, which will be presented to you by our amazing keynote speaker just in a minute. Um, we are really grateful to all of our partners and everyone who supported us in making this event happen. And I'm grateful to the team who is now uh, registering your colleagues. And right now I'd like to pass this microphone uh, to our keynote speaker, Giacomo Arcaro from Italy, the number one ICO growth hacker in Europe. Giacomo, please. Give us a round of applause. Yeah. Hi, thank you. Okay, guys, good morning. Um, today I'm gonna tell you something illegal. Well, okay, so let's begin. Uh, we're talking about growth hacking and fundraising and high, which is strictly connected one to the other. Uh, first of all, I am Giacomo Marca, I'm CEO and founder of Black Marketing Guru, which is uh, one of the biggest European growth hacking company. Um, and uh, we are working in this, <laughs> this is our office, which is a church of the 12th century, which is a Byzantine temple. Why we selected the church? Because uh, um, we are crazy, no, there's, there's, no, there's, no, there's no any kind of uh, particular motivation. <laughs> well, we are all black dressed and we do, of course, growth hacking. But what the growth hacking is, this is the question. Everyone is, is being asking, does anyone in the room, apart from my Italian friend, knows what the growth hacking is? Okay, okay, cool. So, yeah, oh, nice. It's quite, quite interesting. So, I would like to explain to you the growth hacking with, uh, with uh, while we were coming here, I lost my iPods. Uh, I know that everyone has happened, they lost the iPhones in, in, the back seat, in, uh, in, the, in the middle of the seat. So, this is a clever idea. To, to collect the iPods once they fall down into the, into the seat. So this is a growth hacking, I mean, which is a non-conventional idea to solve a problem. And uh, by the way, this is the technical definition, which is a mix between product, marketing and development. I'm just good in marketing, my partner is good in development, and product that my customer, my customer does. So growth hacking is a mix between these three disciplines. And uh, by using wisely uh, the growth hacking, you can boost your business, create the hype, be contagious, uh, and create the buzz. So um, this is uh, an example more, um, more intelligent than, than mine in the car, which is made in the Houston iPods. So the Houston Hypos has got a problem. Um, the users, the travelers, has to wait up to 15 minutes before collecting the luggages. So they called some project managers and some really clever people. They gave them one million dollars and they designed a particular new architecture in order to decrease the time from 15 minutes to wait to 10 minutes. But these were not enough because users want to doesn't wait all those time. So they are the growth hacker and the growth hacker just had a brilliant idea and this is growth hacking which is uh, just put the collecting languages place from, uh, from this point to a 10 minute walk point. So people have to wait 10 minutes but they were walking so they didn't notice that they are waiting for the languages because just were just walk distance. So they solved the problem with the growth hacker and $10,000 bill instead of one million of architecture and infrastructure. So they were really cool. Another stupid uh, example. So this is Takeru Kobayashi and he ate 
50 odd dogs in two minutes. I know this is, uh, this is not a business uh, example, but it helps you to understand what the growth hacking is. You have to either identify the problem and split the problem. The problem here is called hot dog, and it's not one problem, it's two problems, because it's bread and meat. So, I will show you how to solve this problem by dividing it very carefully in two. The bread in the water, and the hot dog. So not eat in the same at the same time by dividing the problem and it beat the man who was the record man of 25 hot dogs. And now everyone is doing the competition by using his methodology. So uh, I will tell you about personal branding and company branding uh, in order to um, get funds for your company, for your startup, for your ICO, STO, IEO, and uh, whatever. So, um, for personal branding really helps you to collect uh, money. And uh, um, personal branding helps you to become from uh, authority to, out to be um, noticed by the other as an authority. So, Forbes. Uh, uh, featuring me as one of the biggest European growth hackers, but as I as I was discussing with uh, Marco, I don't remember that, I, 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 with my Italian friend yesterday night, um, he told me, "How could you? How did you become the first European growth hacking?" And I replied, "Well, I just growth hack my personal branding. It's not true that I'm the European, but everybody say that, so it's now became true. And so why pick up this sentence and featuring me on why?" which told me, tell me that um, I'm the top 10 crypto finance advisors. And now everybody is uh, featuring me as a top, a top European growth hacker and uh, advisor, ISO Bench, ISO Tracker. And these help me to collect, according to um, ISO Tracker, $84 million of investment directly from me and Giovanni Casagrande, which is my partner, from investment funds. So we signed an agreement with 15 investment funds from China to San Francisco um, just because of personal branding for the growth hacking and for the things we, we did in, the, in, in this period. And uh, of course, we collected so far 1.7 million subscribers, which are divided from investors, small investors, Ethereum wallet um, owners, and we created such a great database. But this, is, this has been done in about 12 months. And this is crazy because with the growth hacking, you can do um, stunning things in a short period of time without spending a million dollars in, uh, in, in investments. And this is how I did it. So by using LinkedIn, um, Gmail, and growth hacking. LinkedIn, of course, you have to use it wisely. Uh, we recommend to use uh, um, a software we made, but um, we, it's not for sale, but we're just using it for, for our friends, our customers, and people that are working with our, our investors. This software allows you to collect thousands of highly targeted followers on LinkedIn. And it's not just vanity metrics, because with the highly targeted followers, you could collect uh, also thousands of engagement. I mean, I have uh, uh, three um, LinkedIn accounts uh, and uh, I collect uh, about 100,000 of engagement per week, which is incredible. So LinkedIn has to be used like this. Uh, sorry, Gmail. So any one of us has collected or even stolen email database from, uh, from, from others. But there's no way to send email because every time you send an email, Gmail will block you as spam. Everyone is using Gmail and the spam filters, so it's really hard to send out email. And today, I will recommend you a software which costs really nothing, which is Gmas, which is an add-on of Google Chrome, um, and you can send up to 500 emails per day. If you want to send more than 500 emails per day, you can send up to 20 thousand 
emails per day. I do need a, a little bit of growth hacking, so uh, I will be around so you can ask me for, for details. The last one, obviously, is uh, growth hacking. So it's a mix uh, of the things I told you before. So more in depth, uh, LinkedIn, uh, you have to get followers, but it's not just about followers. You need to have engagement. And by creating engagement, you have to create content. And the girls from uh, crypto events <laughs> knows how to do that because every time I open my LinkedIn, I saw at the first, on the first um, row of my feed, the contents by crypto events. So they're working good, they are, have a good engagement, and LinkedIn is giving them a prize and be on the top of LinkedIn. And being a top means really, really a lot. Of course, the email with the LinkedIn, once you have followers, you do not just have followers. You will have email, name, surname, job position, city, country, and even mobile phone. And you will tell me, what can I do with the mobile phone? I will show you later, because it's a new feature we, we, we have designed. So, um, this is how you should work on LinkedIn. So, getting followers, create contents, script your email, and start delivering messages. So, with the email, you have to deliver messages. Once you have collected the email, you have to deliver the messages. And... Uh, it's uh, really important for the digital PR. So, uh, once you have, um, let me say that, um, if you want to create a buzz, you have to do digital PR. Digital PR, I will show you how to do a good digital PR with, uh, um, by creating news, not just call your PR journalists and send them the, 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 the press release. This is worth nothing. You have to work for it. So you have to create a newsletter, not the one you're you already used to, to look into your mailbox, but a, but a newsletter that wants to be open. So once you collect emails from LinkedIn, you can uh, generally address uh, particular words like city. Only for the city of Milan, you will have this kind of discount. And you know that the man you are sending out the email is from Milan. So you have to pay attention to that in order to increase the CTR and the open rate. And of course you have to participate to events like this. Because it's really important this work to participate in events. This was like startup world 15 years ago. Um, during the events, you can even meet Mark Zuckerberg, which were with, with, the, with the slivers. So um, it's really important to participate in events. And by merging all those things, you can achieve amazing results, like I did in 12 months. So let me give you the first uh, giveaway news. Um, this is how you could connect up to 5,000 people on LinkedIn just with one click. Does everyone was working with LinkedIn seriously? I mean, continuously? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, seven, eight, nine, everyone. Okay. No, um, but it's, re it's really useful. I mean, the, the, the target is not to get followers, but get engaged. This is the, the, the main goal. With this technique, you just get followers, but um, first of all, you need to get database. I know all of you has got database. So you get a database of 5,000 email per time, a time. You create a Gmail account uh, address book. You put the email into address book. You just left Gmail to analyze uh, and load the contacts. Once they have loaded all the contacts, uh, you just go on LinkedIn and merge it. So, by merging the uh, LinkedIn account, LinkedIn will ask you, will be asking you, add to the network 4.9 thousand users. And they are all on target because this is, your, it, this is your database. So let's imagine if you create 10 LinkedIn accounts and you put inside about f um, 30,000 people per each account and you publish contents, you will easily reach in about six months to one year 100,000 engagement per week with all the people in your database list. You will send out email, you will send SMS, and they will uh, 
<laughs> they will cancel you, you from their life. Anyway, uh, oh shit, this, this, is, this is incredible. Okay, this is an incredible story, and this is the first time I, I, I tell someone this story because it's about one month ago. Um, I will tell here in Bulgaria because I have an exclusive uh, in uh, October in Milan for um, uh, the biggest Italian marketing festival. Okay, this is me with Photoshop, of course. <laughs> okay. And I wrote national bestseller even before I wrote the book. But what happened? Um, you know, with Amazon key, KDP, a book like this costs less than a business card. So instead of giving a business card, I give my book. And this is a nice thing, so it, 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 it could be cool. So, I created a book because I want to prove uh, that um, anyone can be a bestseller on Amazon, just working on growth hacking. So, I use LinkedIn with my software and Gmail with Gmas. I create content. If you don't know how to create content, just ask to Elisa, which is the best one in town. And uh, I collected 150,000 views. But I created the content, a viral one, because the book we're talking about, um, we're talking about blockchain, and I said, I don't give a shit about fiat currency, so I'm going to put inside any book some fiat currencies. So, this is the user, <laughs> and fuck, no. <laughs> so, no. this video got viral, um, and I started receiving uh, <coughs> sorry, a lot, a lot of views of sharing, and uh, this is the result. Look, here's the first place. Best seller in economy <laughs> and finance. You, you see uh, a lot of important authors and uh, an asshole in the first place. The asshole is me. So another thing, I put the price at 3 euros so anyone can afford that. And if you will uh, publish a video that you open the book and find inside the money, I will give you uh, the total refund. So in one week, I sold about 10,000 books and I became bestseller. So Amazon bestseller with Amazon Prime and all this stuff. But guys, this is not the, the my goal <laughs> because. And the first time I tell someone, even to my friend Manilo, doesn't know that. Because uh, I haven't written it, nor read it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so that's, that's, uh, I, <laughs> with these, uh, um, with the things, uh, um, I want to explain the power of the shouting versus the content. That's why Trump has won in the US, that's why uh, Salvini won in Italy, because they shout. No contents, but shout. So, I even read the book, because uh, I bought in fever for $300,000, for $300, sorry, for $300. I don't know, even with, with the seller is graceful content, and he doesn't know that he's a bestseller on Amazon, so far. So, so. That's just to explain to you that you can do whatever you want with the growth hack. Even selling a book that you haven't written nor written. Written nor written. So let's go ahead with company branding. I, do, am I doing so fast? Can you follow me? Yes? Okay? Okay, nice. So company branding. Now I will show you how fake news which is not the, the, the way I love to call them, artificial news, gut spreading thanks to the micro-propaganda. This is what uh, Trump did and Salvini in Italy, for example. So the main problem is that, is that more, yeah, almost all the journalists got $3 for uh, writing an article. This is the main problem of the fake news. So. If you convince uh, a journalist to write about you, he will write on TV and television and news. And believe me, I am uh, 
Every week I'm on the first page of Italian newspaper with some, some shit because I, I'm happy to do that, isn't it, Manilo? Every, every, every week, okay. <laughs> okay, I, was I, I have been famous also for a news that I deliver marijuana for my employers in the church. So, uh, the, the, all the Italian television came into the church to check what, what is happening here. So, it, 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 you, you can easily ban the, the journalist. Uh, so, well, okay, so, um, TV and News has no money to check the facts, so they will pick up from blogs, for the big blogs. I mean, like uh, Coin Telegraph is a big blog, and they will pick up the news from Coin Telegraph. The big blog has no money and pick up the news from the from the average blogs, medium blogs. Medium blog has no money and will pick up from small blogs. Small blogs has no money at all and pick up from me. So you can create the buzz. Once I, what, if you say that you are the best growth hacker in town, you tell to the all the small blocks in a kind of in a crypto field, which are about twenty thousand. You pick up the URL and you send to the other, and you will be in a in a couple of days. You will be on the first page of Coin Telegraph, for example. I hope there's no Coin Telegraph guys in here. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so this, for example, I, with this technique, I helped uh, Mohamed Buhari to win the election in uh, Nigeria. Uh, when it was? One month ago? Three, maybe two weeks ago? I don't know, maybe one month ago. So this is really interesting, and I, I hit the first page of the Italian newspaper with this news. So, um, how many minutes do I have left? 20. Okay. Um, so, let me show you an example of a really, real fake news, because every, any startups, and even ICO and ICOs, told me that, uh, um, well, wait, I would like to sell my products uh, to my services, but it's not already done, I need an MVP, yes, you're right, but that's not true, because I sold a lot of things without even uh, having in the end or in the, in the head. So, this is a, a typical example of about um, five to six years ago, I was in Dubai. I have a skill on, the, on the, your left uh, about uh, jacuzzi and my partner has a skill about um, uh, gold. So, the idea that came to my, came to my mind was uh, creating a golden jacuzzi. But how to sell a golden jacuzzi without even having it in the end? It was just like creating the buzz, creating the hype, being contagious. So, you have to create micro-propaganda even for your product, even for your customers. And micro-propaganda is the follow the wave I showed you before, which is you, have to need, you need to have a plausible news, you, have good, you need to be good on Photoshop, of course. Hacking, which is the part we will analyze later. Uh, distribute the message and manage the message. So, this is me without Photoshop but with the hairs. Wow. No, it's about, do you remember Manila when it was like that? Okay. <laughs> before, before crypto falling down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, I created pictures. Uh, no, this is more, it's about, I think it's 10 years ago. Anyway. I create pictures, uh, uh, everything is being done really in a proper way, so pictures, so um, photographic sets, and so on. I created with Photoshop the, the hot tub to pretending to be real. I do some hacking, so uh, this is the way you can, this is a shortcut. So you can, you, I, I auto interviewed me, and they sent out email by using uh, um, a spoofing email. So if, when you send email, you can send by your name, uh, surname and company name, but you can change it in the preferences, uh, account email name, uh, and you can put inside, I, I don't know, Roger Burr. So anyone, I don't know, 90% of the people won't, won't check what's the true name behind the email. So I send email by the account of the biggest Italian journalist, which is Aldo Cazzullo. You may probably know. 
So I send an email by distributing the message using Google Docs, and this is cool. You can take a picture of that. So by typing the, this Google Doc on Google, you will find out uh, website, location, author, and email of all the journalists uh, talking uh, about crypto, for example. So file type, uh, double point, PDF, docx, doc, xlx, xlx, blogger, blog, journalist, uh, another keyword may be fintech, and Google will show you all the email that has been shown on Google in PDF or document like that, because journalists want uh, signed documents will put inside the email, so Google has it, and you can scrape it. Usually, they're not uh, available for everyone, so you can you may use a Shadon uh, search engine instead of Google, but it's it's cool. So management, this is always me. This is not Photoshop because once I deliver the message, I travel about ten countries doing interviews with no money, it was 10 years ago. I need to hire uh, an SLS I'm gay to, to prove that I or they really designed the hot tub, but there was no hot tub. I was in my room uh, with, my, with my pyjama, uh, just saying bullshit online. <laughs> but what happened? Then I hit the first page on Italian newspaper, uh, it's, it's a gold hot tub, 24 carats, uh, and the sheikh uh, will swim into the gold. So when the users told me that they have no money, they have no time, they need to have an MVP to sell, to be famous, this is not true. You, all to, you need to, to be a growth hacker, you need to find out the way to disrupt uh, the, the moment. But it's not all, because I collected 25,000 interviews, this is the week. Holiday gifts. Let me show you, maybe with the pointer. Okay. Holiday gifts for those who have everything. Alexander McQueen, Gucci, Arcaro. <laughs> with, it, it doesn't even exist. They put all surprise, $100,000, and they sold three gold tops. And how did it finish? Uh, I will tell you later because it's, uh, it's a sad finish. It's a sad <laughs> end. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, uh, I'm not going to jail, but because I have some friends in Dubai. Anyway, um, with growth hacking, you can create stunning things. And now why it became much more technical than uh, hilarious like before. So this is Telegram, and Telegram, uh, in order to be privacy compliant, uh, um, in order to be, um, I would say, uh, to protect the privacy of the customers, they have not, they created a, um, an interesting method by using username instead of mobile phone numbers. But by using that, you can easily crack it. And you can, for example, in this case, Go on ICE events official chat, download all the members. You can pick up uh, Edward Mandel, which is uh, my friend. I, uh, so this is not GDPR compliant, but anyway. <coughs> <laughs> you can send a message by inviting to your Telegram group, which could be a channel, uh, a group, a super group. And you create, as we did for this uh, ICO, 96,000 users in just one month. They are not bots because you pick up from the other groups. By the way, we just collected 3.5 million with these ICOs in January, which is not a lot, but um, these help to collect about $1 million from the small investors because we picked up all the users from the competitors' ICO. So this is a clever method. And this is, uh, this is uh, the new thing uh, we designed for WhatsApp. Because WhatsApp uh, always blocked uh, the API. They just delivered the API three to four months ago. And uh, uh, with the API, we created um, WhatsApp their messages. So um, instead of 
sending out old-fashioned email that no one reads. You can send, hello name, here's a special gift for you, next blog, next blog conference, uh, buy one, get one, and so on. So, if you want to see the message because it's blurred, you have to reply and mark as not spam, not junk. Once you reply, you can reply to the user. So, you, all you need to do is download the phone numbers. The second is send a message campaign and reply to users. And this has got 98% of open rate because anyone is opening uh, WhatsApp and 45% of CTR click to rate, so the clicks on, uh, on the advertising. So WhatsApp uh, marketing will be the next big revolution. They have to beat uh, um, Telegram, so they deliver the API. And this is really cool, so, but I don't know if you can see the blue one, but um, this is cool. This is, its name is URL stealing. If you go to visit uh, twitter.com slash John McAfee, you will see that uh, it's, uh, the account has been suspended. It means that John McAfee has changed an account or has been arrested like, once again, I don't know. Maybe, no, it's maybe, maybe because it, the account has been suspended due to his changing the name to John McAfee official, stuff like that. No one knows, uh, apart from me and you right now, that you can steal you, uh, Twitter URL and get um, backlink he created during that period. So if you apply, if you put, um, I mean, an, an alert, an alert, once the page uh, uh, twitter.com slash John McAfee will be online again, you will book the URL. I will be faster than you, anyway. Um, you can steal all the backlinks, all the, the websites that has um, put John McAfee into the RSS feed. And you will, uh, scrape, you will uh, scale up uh, really, really fast. I mean, if you create uh, um, a crypto magazine by using this URL, you will uh, got the third or fourth page of uh, Google News uh, easily. And you can do with any account of, you, of Twitter because uh, the website is, uh, will not every, check in every time the, um, the status of the account, so if are active or not active. So they will latch in their website and you will get the backlink from that. Okay, this is the last slide. I mean, the, the second, the, the, yeah, it's the, um, the, last, the last slide, which is, uh, Think illegal, but obviously act uh, legal. So you have to think illegal, because if you don't think illegal, you will not make money. But you have to do the things in a legal way by using illegal method. Um, I will show you um, an example right now by not to follow, which is really illegal. So these are websites uh, uh, can you see the, the websites? Oh, it's me, it's Daltonic. No. Okay. So, those, these websites, axforum.net, nalet.to, zeroday.today, blackhatsam.com, you can uh, easily buy databases uh, um, to put in your LinkedIn. So, buying databases uh, is not illegal. Send email, it's legal. Loading into your LinkedIn account, it's legal. So that's why it's going to tell you to think illegal and act legal, because you, you can do a lot of things by thinking illegal before going legal or going to jail. <laughs> so the, the, the website I'd like to show you, to show you uh, how shit happens in the crypto market, is this one, because uh, on the zero day dot today, for example, you can buy these for just uh, 0 0.4 BTC. You can buy an Instagram bypass access method exploit, and you can hack any Instagram account, even the one, obviously, if you have two FA, you can't do that. But only a few of us has got two FA 
verification on Instagram. So you can hack any account of any person by using those websites. I don't recommend you to do that because otherwise you will go to jail, but this explains how people got hacked daily. And I recommend you to update your phone to the last version. So, um, this is the last slide. All those things uh, helps you to do only one thing, that it's our main goal, raise funds for our projects, for our startups. And uh, you need to um, live in the airports uh, to have a uh, ear age and a head age for the flights. This is the only way you can collect money. But if you follow the growth hacking tips uh, I gave you, you can collect uh, a, lot of, a lot of good and successful um, and uh, obviously money, of course. Thank you so much. So, if there's no politics uh, in, the, in, the, in the stage, you can ask me questions, if uh, any has got someone. Manilo, don't ask questions, uh, I won't reply you. So, I'm happy that you... Well, uh, oh, okay, okay. Sorry for being too loud. Oh my uh, god. About the tool on LinkedIn, can you elaborate more? The first one that you mentioned. Yeah. Uh, what's the tool? Uh, I, I, um, I not published published online because if uh, everyone got famous, uh, no one is famous. So I just use it for the the my my customers, friends, and colleagues and partners. But I, we, we we can catch up later for the coffee. I will explain you uh, how it works. Uh, it's uh, a Java a program brought in Java, a software brought in Java that helps you to increase the connections, uh, endorsement skills, uh, and stuff like that. Yeah. You got another question? Um, one question. All the stuff here, would we see what can be hacked. If we take blockchain as a future technology on several of these uh, applications, how do you justify it? Is it uh, then becoming unhackable or very difficult to hack, or is blockchain just the same game? Okay, if blockchain, good question, if blockchain will take over on social networking and stuff like that, I will quit my job and retire for forever, because <laughs> blockchain will completely get rid of uh, tricks uh, and, well, yeah, I'm pretty sure of that. I mean, with Steam, with Steam you can do such kind of tricks. Uh, you can do it in a non-decentralized, in a centralized world you can do that. But uh, in, a, in, a, in, a cent in a decentralized, it's really hard to do this. So um, this is why um, in, in a, in a, we, we are in the far west. So uh, I mean, it will take about 10 years, I think, to decentralize all the social networks and stuff like that. Okay. I'm glad it was uh, clear. Okay. Thanks again.